So I have a lot of topics I felt led to share today and I'm going to kind of break them down just into a few separate parts. So I hope you guys stay with me through this video today. I just feel like the Lord wants me to share all of this information today. And um, after you listen to it, I would just pray into it and see uh, what the Lord is speaking to you in this and you know what you need to do with these words. So first off, I just want to start with a word I received on September 22nd, 2022. So yesterday in my quiet time with him, I saw a big like loaf of bread and it was an uncut loaf of bread that was just like sitting on a table and on the loaf of bread, it had the word peace, P-E-A-C-E. -E. And, you know, a lot of times when I'm watching these things, I don't really have a clue at the, it, you know, at that initial moment, you know, why is there a loaf of bread with peace written on it? So as this unfolds, he showed me my a picture of myself where I would be worried about situations or circumstances or just the nation, the country, the world, just all the things that we've seen uh, going on over the past couple of years and all the times maybe where I've just focused more on these things that are making me fearful or worried or I'm wondering how things are going to play out. And basically I've taken my focus off of him and my focus has shifted to these circumstances, situations, things, people. And he said that every time that I allow my focus to shift off of him and onto these other things going on, that a piece of my peace loaf is literally broken off. So as he's showing me this and these different situations where my mind is going here, there goes a piece. And my mind again is, is my focus is taken off of him and there goes another piece. So as I'm watching this play out, I just see this peace loaf really just shrinking smaller and smaller and smaller. And so the whole point of that vision was that he has given us this full loaf of peace if you want to look at it that way it's complete peace we can have complete peace if we keep our mind and our eyes focused solely on him and he gave me a verse after he showed me this and it's isaiah 26 3 and it says you will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. So he was reminding me of this yesterday that when we take our eyes and our mind and our focus off of him, our peace is, is chipped away at. We don't have that peace that passes all understanding, that full loaf of unbroken peace in our life. So he was reminding me to be conscious of those things that maybe pull my, my mind and my eyes and my focus off of him and basically steal the peace that, that he has offered to give us. And I feel like it's, I feel like he's giving this word as just a very timely word because not only do we already have a lot of things going on around the country, around the nation, around the world, in our own individual lives, that can steal our peace but i feel like he gave me this word yesterday because going forward we are going to need his perfect peace we are going to need complete peace that is only found in him we are going to need peace that only comes when our focus is solely on him it's not looking with our natural eyes it's not trying to figure out with our carnal minds what is happening what is going on you know, the world is falling apart and this, that, and the other. He's asking us right now, what is taking pieces of your peace? What are those things that are, are removing your focus off of him? And what can you do to keep your focus solely on him? And that takes effort. That takes a lot of prayer. That takes a lot of praise and worship and determination to keep yourself in peace through Jesus Christ, despite everything that's going on around us. So 
that's the first part that I wanted to share. So I just want to get into the second word that the Lord gave me. And this was actually back on March 19th of 2022. And I had shared this in a previous video, but he brought me back to this today in my journal. And there's a few journal entries that he wants me to read that I just feel are very timely right now. And I can't even really express just the overwhelming feeling that I feel inside, especially today of just that things are about to start unraveling here very, very quickly. So I'm going to read this word. And like I said, it's from March 19th of 2022. And this was a word that the Lord gave me uh, just in my quiet time with him that morning. And he said, unprecedented catastrophe, unusual amount of natural disasters, hurricanes, Floods, fires, earthquakes, famine, a blackout is coming. The Lord said, I don't tell you these things to scare you, but to warn the people to prepare and to pray. The reporters and weather people will say, we have never seen anything like this before. And in this word, he had also said that we should be preparing. We should be getting our sur survival kit in order. Uh, we should have some cash on hand food for a few weeks, water, whatever those things are that you need to prepare for your family, I would do that right now. I mean, it's if you don't already have some type of survival plan or food stocked up or water, you know, your medication that you need, whatever that is that you feel like the Lord tells you to do to prepare, I feel like he's reminding us again today that we need to do this, it's urgent. And then he went on in this word to say, the storm is rolling in, it's just on the horizon, take cover, take shelter, batten down the hatches, under my feathers, take refuge. He said, do not let fear spring up, do not give way to it, trust him, he is our strong tower and our fortress. And he gave me this word in March of 2022. And at that time, he said, the storm is rolling in. It's just on the horizon. Well, now, obviously, we're in September of 2022. And I believe that that storm is literally about to hit. And also, as he brought me back to this word from March today, he had me just kind of flip through my journal. And I found on August 10th, 2022, I had heard unprecedented catastrophe again. And I knew that I had heard this months prior. And I wrote, this must be imminent. So that was just on August 10th of 2022. And he was speaking those very same words of unprecedented catastrophe again. So here we are now a little over a month later from this word, which was August 10th of 2022. And if it was imminent then, it's even more imminent now. And then the last part of this is I was reading over my September insights and I had wrote this on August 30th of 2022 and I had just sat with the Lord and he had just given me just some insights into September, some words, some different things. And I felt like this was just another word that he wanted me to specifically share today. So September insights, 2022, shakedowns slip-ups, and suddenlies. A time to stand united, shoulder to shoulder, to pray, to praise, to draw closer to the Lord, to take cover in his shelter, a place of refuge from the storm. So he also said, we must see with spiritual eyes and not our natural eyes. And I think, honestly, a lot of times this can be hard for us because there's just so much information that you know we're inundated with and i've said this before but it's it's hard to 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 keep our eyes focused on the things that are happening in the spirit and and not just every everything else that's going on around us in the natural and the other part of that is you know a lot of the things that we do see with our natural eye aren't really how they appear anyway so if we're not spending time with the lord and asking him what's truly going on. What are you telling me to do in this hour? What are you speaking in this hour? We will be fooled and we will be deceived. 
And that's what we need to guard against right now. We need to be setting aside that time with him to hear him speak to our spirit, instruction and guidance, and fill us afresh with oil and peace, despite what we see with our natural eye, despite what the media says and what everybody, you know, is saying as the narrative. You know, we need to get our instruction and our direction solely from the Lord and learn how to walk in the spirit and not in the flesh. And I will tell you, it takes work. It takes persistence. It takes determination to want to be a changed vessel that can be used by the Lord, that can hear his voice for yourself, that could hear him clearly and know what he is saying to do right now today. And just the second part of this September insight, he said, my children, do not fear. Have I not told you these things would take place? Though the winds may blow and the earth shake, you remain safe in me, in me. I am your sovereign protection and covering. Do not look to anything else for peace and safety, for peace and security. It is I, the great I am, for I alone provide everything that you need. For I alone steer the ship. For I alone hold the universe in the palm of my hand. For I alone could roll the heavens up like a scroll. My greatness and my majesty is unsearchable and unthinkable to your fragile minds. You must tear the lid off your mind, off the box you have placed me in, for I cannot fit in a box. I am outside that box. I am outside of time. I am ruler over all. And that is the end of the September word that he gave me for 2022. So I know that this is a lot of information you know, all jam-packed in this one video. Re-listen to this if you need to and pray into what the Lord is telling you to do right now. These are a lot of, there's a lot of things that he is speaking through these words. Some of this going all the way back to March of 2022, you know, even just, you know, August of 22, and then a word just as recent as yesterday. I just feel a stirring in my spirit. It's It's been growing now for weeks Today, it seems to just really have accelerated and I really can't even put my finger on it. Uh, but that's why I spent time with the Lord this morning and he brought me back to these specific things and I felt like he wanted me to share them with you today. So I just pray that whatever we do see coming, whether it's this weekend, next week, a couple weeks from now, a couple months from now, no one knows for sure, but... I just pray that you would just shift your focus to the Lord, set aside that time to get in the secret place. There is nothing more important right now than spending time with the Lord. There's, there's no other obligation. There's no other leisure activity. There's nothing else that is more important than getting alone with God right now to hear him for yourself to confess your sin and get clean before him, to worship him, to praise him. You know, and I think whatever we do see coming that's happening all around us and some of it, it may try to induce fear in us. But the Bible literally says, fear not 365 times. So that's fear not for every single day of the year. So it's obviously huge that we fear not. And it goes back to, again to that peace loaf, that loaf of peace, that full, unbroken peace, that peace that passes all understanding that we can truly find in him and in him alone. And he is telling us that our peace is found in nothing else. But when we shift our focus, completely to him in our mind in our sight in every single situation and every single thing we can only find true peace when we are looking right at him straight in his eyes not looking to the right or to the left not looking behind not wondering what's up ahead but in the present right now today it's shifting our focus to focus solely on him 
And that will bring you a peace despite what you see. So I just want to pray that whatever you may be fearful about, maybe you have anxiety about what's to come, maybe you don't know how to prepare, maybe you feel like all of this is just too much information, I just pray that the Lord would bring you a peace that passes all understanding, that you would just nestle under the shelter of the Most High God, where under his feathers you just find refuge. Read Psalm 91. And the last thing that I'll mention is, if there is a period that comes where the lines of communication are broken or we're shut in and we, we, we can't have contact or I don't know what the situation is going to be. Only the Lord knows. What will you do at that time? And I feel like the Lord wanted me to mention that today because he literally just brought it to my uh, remembrance right now. What will you do at that time? Will you sit there in fear, wondering what is happening, what's happening next, and oh my gosh, what are we going to do? Or will you spend that time praising him? Will you spend that time worshiping him? Will you spend that time in prayer? Will you spend that time just soaking in his presence, saying, Lord, I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's next, but I praise you and I thank you, God, that you know. He knows all things. He knows the beginning from the end. He is the Alpha and the Omega. So there's nothing that he doesn't know. And I, and that's why I'm just so thankful that we have him to go to. He is a loving, caring father. He cares about his children. And he's asking us to come to him, to sit on his lap in this season. So when that time comes and, and you feel like the fear is creeping in, Crawl up on his lap as Abba, as your father. He loves you. Let him just wash you with his peace in that, in that time. Look to him in this time. Find your peace in him and him alone. So God bless you guys. I just, I pray just a blessing over you right now in Jesus name. Protection, peace, hope, joy, God will bring us through to victory, no matter what we see happening around us. We already have the victory in Jesus. So until next time, God bless you guys.